what we're seeing is uh, stormwater pollution. A couple of weeks ago we had 50,000 chum fly in here and they were swimming around and you could see them all uh, moving around in the turret. Uh, certainly you could see nothing now. You know, somebody has dumped something in here, whether it's uh, paint, could be latex paint. Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Anyway, it's a shame because this is such a beautiful silver little creek. And to have something like this done to it is, is terrible. Apart from storm, uh, water quality problems in stormwater, you can have water quantity problems. And because of impervious surfaces um, due to development such as roofs, roads, parking lots, driveways, um, we have uh, water that falls as rain and doesn't get absorbed in the, into the ground, is not held back by the vegetation, and consequently runs off very quickly through the storm uh, sewer, sewer system and into the creeks and causes volume problems. And when those volume problems happen, uh, erosion happens. So we have untoward erosion of, of, of the creeks as a result of stormwater um, uh, quantity, which causes velocity and therefore excessive erosion. Uh, in 2003, and then again in 2004, there was unfortunate stormwater events happen, and um, uh, heavy metals, particularly cadmium, uh, were washed down from the airport upstream and came into contact with the fish downstream and caused uh, um, a catastrophic and massive um, death. I think what we're, what we're seeing is uh, sort of the slow death of the marine nearshore areas around uh, urban centers. So uh, the beaches aren't as vibrant as they used to be, there's not as much sea life as there was, uh, there's more sediment going to the water which interferes with uh, light and other biological processes. Um, so I think we're going to see just a gradual dying of the, of the life on our beaches close to the urban centers. Whether or not you care about orcas or salmon, you need to care about your own neighborhood and you need to care about the areas your kids play in. I've seen this beach, uh, kids playing in this water, animals drinking it. Meanwhile, it's, there's been a sewage spill a couple hours previous to that and, and the water is filthy. But because it looks clean, people think it's all right. Yeah, sewage um, gets in to the uh, combination of sewer and, and uh, stormwater occurs as, uh, as follows. That, we have pipes in parallel, uh, one carrying sewage, one carrying stormwater. And often this infrastructure becomes, um, you know, a little bit decayed over time and it cracks and it leaks. So you can get situations where you get uh, sewage leaking into the stormwater and likewise stormwater leaking into the sewage. So that really calls for new infrastructure and of course that has been done in, in, in uh, many places. The, the other uh, situation, which is particular to Oak Bay, we have, well, we, we, that's a combined sewer, as we call it. Now, a combined sewer really means that the sewage and the stormwater is in the one pipe. And when we have a particularly heavy rainfall, the capacity of the pipe is exceeded. And what happens is that they will get an overflow at the outlet. In other words, there's an allowance for the pipe to let go a certain amount of, of the uh, flow in, under such circumstances. But unfortunately, that has sewage and stormwater. So you get, you get sewage actually leaking out into the sea uh, combined with stormwater. And of course, that can have, play havoc on our beaches, etc. So we've largely ignored surface water up to this point. Let's just get it off the land. Let's just get it off of the parking lot. Let's just get it off the roof. And let's just get it out of our minds as quickly as we possibly can. So that means we've straightened the ditches and, and, and we've rushed the water into the ocean. And it's had, a, it's had a major environmental impact. The impacts are being seen in places like Saanich Inlet. Uh, used to be bountiful salmon, bountiful shellfish harvest every year and, and that's no longer and a, and a major factor to this has been uh, the uh, toxins and, and, and storm water and, and not just the stuff that's in the storm water but the volume. Storm water management as we call it or rainwater management as we, we, we wish to call it is more encompassing and it, it, it leads to the question of, of looking at the regional level at watershed management that's really what we're talking about.
So really what we have to be looking at is settlement integrated with ecology. And that's the fundamental point, and that's the whole kind of central issue that we're facing today. And I may say, being very proactive and positive about it. The District of Central Saanich just recently won an EcoStar award uh, through the CRD uh, for the stormwater management plan that, we have, uh, that we've adopted, as well as the surface water runoff bylaw which we've adopted. And as well, we won a Federation of Canadian Municipalities uh, regional award for our a watershed award for, for the plan. Uh, there's 13 municipalities in the CRD. Central Saanich working at it alone is only going to be a fraction of, of, the, of the problem, dealing with a fraction of the problem. Um, the CRD has worked towards having a model bylaw so that districts are dealing with it in, in a uh, consistent way. I, I think that it's an important uh, aspect of this to have us all working from the same uh, playbook and for us all to be dealing with it in a consistent way and having consistent policy. It makes it less confusing for the citizens and it allows us to be able to um, promote and to talk about the issue in a, in a one way rather than 13 ways. Like water courses don't understand borders so if you have a border between one municipality and another the water course carries from one to the other. It would be silly to have one bylaw on one side of an artificial border and one on another side. So consistency so that everybody knows what the rules are and it's applied evenly across the whole um, uh, Capital Regional District would just make total sense. So individual ones are better than nothing, individual municipality bylaws, but an overarching one would be way more effective to uh, um, protect our stormwater. We really don't have time to uh, get into jurisdictional spats about this, that, or who's responsible for what. We have to be bold, innovative, and go for the big picture. And the big picture is just what I've described, that collectively put our heads together and we have the vision and put the structure together to, to make it happen. And it's not hard to do. Bowker Creek has managed, and I think it's, a, it's an incredible achievement, frankly, of bringing together three municipalities, Victoria, Saanich, Oak Bay, to look at it in an integrated way. In other words, look at it as a watershed. But further to that, and the most important component, has been the community. And that, uh, at least from my perspective, is, is the energy that is required to really make things happen. Politics change, things change, but when a community, when a community takes responsibility, it's there for the long term. So when you combine community, elected officials, three jurisdictions, a hundred year vision, you're really um, heading in the right direction for the future. We as, as, as politicians in the CRD need to be real with people. We need to tell them exactly what's in front of them. And it's a big expense. And it's an expense because we haven't dealt with it responsibly in the past. And so to get, we can make a policy going forward that says that everything new is going to be to a certain set of standards. But we still can't ignore what we've done in the past. We still got to fix that. And that's going to come at a cost. This is actually kind of an exciting uh, a year in that we saw coho fry that had been spawned uh, as a result of spawning of wild fish that had come back last fall and successfully spawned in the creek and produced um, uh, offspring. And that's the first time we've seen them here since the spring of 2002, which would have been the, uh, before the two um, uh, stormwater events happened. The point we have to bear in mind here Population will increase. We, may, we tend to say, well, no, we can't do this. It's going to increase. So that means that we've got to come to that time with a, a collective determination and vision to do the right thing. The salmon fry, oh, there's a big one there that just went under. It's probably a coal or a cutthroat uh, two year old. Uh, they love these rock clusters. I love this. It's awesome, it's rock. It's one of my favorite parts of the creek.